Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. I hope that you're doing really well and having a really good week so far, whatever that looks like for you. So as you'll have seen from the title, today I am packing my hospital bag and I can't believe that I'm filming this video just because like, I don't know, maybe a few years ago now, I remember watching people filming their pack my hospital bag with me kind of videos and just thinking like oh I'd just love to do that one day and I can't wait until it's kind of my turn to do that sort of thing and all through the pregnancy it's something that I've been kind of looking forward to because it means it's almost time to meet him um, and yeah now I'm finally doing it which is really exciting. I'm nervous as well it feels like I'm packing for a weird holiday because I've got like my little suitcase out and I'm packing my toiletries and things like that and um yeah I was saying to the girls at work that it feels like a weird holiday that I'm packing for that yeah <laughs> that I'm a bit nervous to go on this holiday but I know that it's yeah it's gonna be amazing because we're gonna be able to meet our baby at the end of it and bring him home which is really exciting and the moment that we've been waiting for now and just yeah really looking forward to for these last few weeks so I'm currently <laughs> I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant and I had intended on doing this a lot earlier but the way things have just fallen and yeah here we are 38 weeks and I've finally got everything together. I feel like I've been buying bits and bobs over the last few months to be fair and getting it. It's all just been sat in a big pile in the nursery and now I've actually kind of like organised it and actually got everything ready and I feel much better now that everything is kind of ready to ready to go whenever he's ready to arrive. Um, but yeah, if you watched any of my recent Primark hauls, I think I shared a few bits in one of those. So if you want to have a look at some of the bits um, in more detail that I picked up um, from Primark or Boots, then you can have a look at that one. But yeah, I've got everything ready, I think. I spent a lot of time watching a lot of other mum-to-be um, videos of packing their hospital bags and I've been very lucky that I've got some other um, women in my family and close friends who have had babies um, so they have given me some really good tips about things that I might want to take with me but yeah I found that everybody had certain little different bits and bobs that they took with them that helped um, and that they found really useful so I think everybody's will always be a bit different um, and I've just been trying to remind myself that if we don't have everything then it's fine. They're, um, the hospital that we are going to to deliver is quite a big hospital, there are shops downstairs, there's a costa downstairs, there's yeah and we only live like 20 minutes from the hospital and then my mum and dad's and Grant's mum and dad's are even closer to the hospital so I'm sure that if we do forget anything or we need more supplies bringing in or anything like that then we'll be able to do it so I'm yeah I'm trying not to worry about making sure I've got everything and making sure that yeah because I think it's easy to get carried away I've tried to really pack the essentials Although looking at it now, I feel like there's loads of stuff, but I feel like it's all essential stuff. It's, it's not stuff that I feel like um, will go unused. I think this is all, it'll all get used. So yeah, I mean, I've got to remember that this is stuff for me and for baby. And then we will probably do Grant a little grab a bag to go, but I don't think he'll need much stuff. Maybe just some snacks or something, some extra snacks, I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned this as well, I think I mentioned it on my Instagram, but I finished work yesterday for mat leave. Um, so now I'm officially on mat leave, which I'm so happy about. I love my job, but I've just been so ready to finish for mat leave. And 
Now looking back, I wish that I had finished mat leave at 37 weeks, so three weeks before due date instead of two weeks before due date because I've just really struggled with this last week. I've mostly worked from home but I've just found it really tiring and yeah, I only did a half day yesterday for my last day um, and we just had like a bit of a fuddle and some presents which was lovely. But next time, if we're lucky enough to have another baby, then I would probably think about doing mat leave like three weeks before due date, but yeah, I'm just, I was just like so ready to go on mat leave and now I feel like I can like go into like full blown nesting mode. I feel like I've been um, just kind of putting it off and holding on, holding off a little bit going into full on nesting mode because I had a brain full of work things. And now that I've handed all that over, passed on the baton to the new lady who is covering me, then I feel like I can just really relax into the last couple of weeks of pregnancy. So, <laughs> if you saw our baby shower vlog, you'll know as well that we had a really lovely baby shower a few weeks ago. And if I just show you the nursery at the minute, all around me is just absolute <laughs> bedlam. It's just absolute chaos. I feel like I feel like honestly on camera it doesn't even look that bad, but in real life we've got stuff everywhere. So I'm really looking forward to organising, washing everything, putting everything away this next week or two. And then we've just got a few last minute bits. Um, of like decor to finish off in here and then I'm going to do a nursery tour which is another video that I have been really excited to share. I love watching people's nursery tours since um, becoming pregnant. I love to see all the cute little things that people do and yeah I'm in love with this room. It's one of my favourite rooms in the house now and sometimes I'll literally just come and sit in our rocking chair and just sit and just feel thankful and <laughs> just have 10 minutes of just enjoying being in here. I really love it. So anyway, I will get into um, what I have decided to take to hospital with me. I have done a checklist on my phone, which is obviously personalised to things that I think I will use and that is right for me and Grant. Um, I will probably share this over on my Instagram, so I'll leave my links down below if you would like to have a look on there. I've got a pregnancy highlight where I've highlighted lots of bits and bobs that I found useful or just moments from the pregnancy. So I'll try and leave that checklist down in my Instagram pregnancy highlights. For my actual hospital bag, I was going to buy a nice new weekend bag, um, but I'd seen quite a few people had actually been taking the carry-on size suitcases and I thought that just for ease that would just probably be much easier um, there's a bit more room in them and you can just wheel it along so I'm just going to be taking I didn't actually end up buying a new um, hospital bag I'm just going to be taking my travel size this looks huge next to my head but this is the, just a travel size um, suitcase that I use for weekends away and city breaks, things like that. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to be using for me, for my bits and bobs mainly. And then for baby, oh it's right back here. For baby I'm actually going to be using his nappy bag. So this is the one that came with our pram, this is a mamas and poppers one. Um, and oh, I'm just so in love with this pram and all the little accessories and everything and this bag. I've just been so excited to use it all. Obviously the colourway is a really nice tweedy neutral um, with some brown accessories in there which I love. So I've got this one for a lot of baby stuff and then the carry-on suitcase for the rest of my things mainly so I thought it would be good to try and keep them kind of separate and then we know that a lot of baby's stuff is in there my stuff is in there and if I'm just needing Grant to grab something for me then hopefully that will be a bit easier for him to know where certain things are 
And then the other big thing that I will be taking is my maternity pillow, nursing pillow. This one is from Mamas and Poppers and I have loved it. It's really, really nice and not too squishy, not too firm. I've just found that it's been perfect for me. It's a nice, soft, brushed cotton. Um, and I've just freshly washed this cover so it's all nice and fresh and smelling really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this one with me. And I just actually use this sometimes if I'm just sitting in bed reading or something like that. I like to just pop this one behind me and it's a nice support just to have in bed. So even if you're not pregnant actually I would recommend that you get yourself one of these because they are so comfortable and I feel like you wouldn't ordinarily get one unless you were pregnant but I feel like everybody needs one of these. So I'm going to be taking that as well. Then I have, oh this is really heavy. <laughs> I have my snack bag. If you know me well, you will know I am a snack fiend. I feel like I just, I feel like my body uses up food really quickly. I think that's um, when your metabolism is fast. Might be wrong there, but um, I, yeah, I feel like my body just uses up food really quickly and I find that I need a lot of snacks and things all the time, so. I've tried to get a good selection of high energy snacks. So I'll show you what I've got in here. The first thing on top is my water tumbler. Um, this one is from TK Maxx and I love it. It's sort of insulated so you can pop um, a ice cold drink in here and it will stay nice and cold. And the straw has a little thing on so it won't ever fall out. And um, because it's got a straw, I just love having this full of water and then it's just easy to drink, easy to hold. Um, so yeah, I've got that one. And then a lot of lists I read said to take boiled sweets. So I got some butter mintos and some rhubarb and custard. I love that these say a Yorkshire favourite. I don't know if, is this a Yorkshire thing? I don't know, I've just always had these. Let me know if you're from down south or something. Let me know if you also enjoy rhubarb and custard boiled sweets. I didn't realise they were a Yorkshire thing, but yeah, I've got those boiled sweets. And then I've got some chocolate and fudge cereal bars. I've got some flapjacks. I've got some raisins. And then just some little mini orange juice, juice carton boxes, and some original Lucozades. So, so far that's everything that's in my snack bag. And I feel like I'll probably add to this and put a few of like my favourite sweets in or something like that. Um, and like sandwiches or something, I don't know. I'm trying to not fill it with too much rubbish and trying to keep to things that I'll enjoy but will also be beneficial in terms of giving me nutrients and energy and things so if you've got any recommendations please let me know but yeah that is everything <laughs> that's in my snack bag absolute essential for me and then another key essential is all of my hospital notes Um everything is in here and I have a booklet that has my like preferences in it. It's not really a birth plan because I didn't want to do a specific plan. I wanted to try and stay really open-minded and go with the flow, see what happens on the day or night. But yeah, I've kept all of my um, notes and records and everything in this little folder just so that they're nice and easy and they're all together. They're protected from the rain and things when I've been going to appointments. So I've got all of them in there and I also have um, just a few like easy read magazines just um, some of the like sort of like real life mags that are just easy to read and pick up and yeah if I just want something to pass a bit of time and have a look I've got a few of those in there as well and then let me tell you I've had so much fun packing these little bags <laughs> I've been waiting for an opportunity to use these and I have loved packing these. They were a gift um, that I had asked for. My mum got me these 
and I think they're off Amazon. I'm sure that I can find some similar ones. So again, I'll try and link everything down below that I can find. But I have, I think, five of these that I have packed. So I'll go through each of these and show you what is in them. They're all slightly different sizes and they all have slightly different things in them. I think this is like the biggest one. So they're all different sizes and they've all got little different bits and bobs in them. So I've tried to like categorize everything to keep it nice and organized. This is the first one, which is the biggest one. And in here, I'll just unzip it. So in here, I've got a full size bath towel. I've got a um, hand towel and I've also got a little face flannel and then I've got a pair of flip flops and a pair of spa um, slippers I thought they'd be really good I already had these I if I go to a spa normally I take my own so the kind of disposable ones they give you I normally bring these home so I've got a pair of those a pair of flip flops just from Primark and towels for the showers and things so I've got all of that in there. Why is it so satisfying when you put stuff in little boxes or organizers and they just go in perfect? I just love it. I feel like it's one of those little joys in life that just makes me happy. I mean, that is so perfect. <laughs> so I've got this one ready to go in my case. The next one is a medium size one and this has all of my clothes in basically so in here I've put all of the clothes that I will be taking with me so I've got my um, going home outfit and it's literally a pair of the cozy black leggings from Primark and a really big oversized black t-shirt from Primark as well I thought that these would just be perfect they're dark they're comfortable they're easy to throw on get on and off um so yeah i'm just gonna be taking those for my going home outfit they're just nice and practical and easy and then in here obviously gone for a bit of a gray and white theme not intentionally but in here i have got a couple of pairs of nursing bras and I actually got these from Primark as well and they feel really nice and comfortable and they've just got the little clips at the top there that you can unclip so I've got two of those and then I've got some big undies as well here so I've got a few pairs of nice big undies that are really comfortable and they're high rise they're full coverage so to wear things like these with pads will just be really practical um, I've got a couple of pairs of nice fresh new slipper socks of course and then in here I've also got a lightweight black dressing gown and then I have two different night shirts so I've got a black one and a grey one and they're literally just oversized t-shirt style night dresses that button all the way from the front all the way down so that's probably what I will change into when I arrive at the hospital and um, will spend most of my time in because I just think that they'll just be comfortable again they're practical um, so yeah that is all of my clothes that I'll be taking I've got everything in this bag here oh and then I've got a um, blanket I just got this one from Matalan but this one is um, kind of for me I guess but for baby as well if we decide we need it but it's just a nice big fluffy blanket and again, if you know me, I've got this really weird thing about certain fabrics and materials, especially when I'm in bed. So I sleep with a blanket every night anyway, but I wanted to get myself a nice fresh new one to take to hospital with me. Um, and it's really nice actually, it's just got little woodland um, animals on it and leaves and things like that. This was only £7 and I thought this would just be a good good thing to take with me and have in my case because I just find a lot of comfort in having a little blanket um, 
yeah I didn't want to take the one that I sleep with every night but I wanted to get one um a new little blanket to take with me so this is the blanket for me <laughs> and then I've got this bag which is literally for um pads towels disposable underwear um breast pads all of that fun hospital <laughs> bag stuff now I did have like literally um when I went to Boots and did the shop for this I had like actual bags of towels and everything and I had to tone it down a bit and think I don't need to take all of them to the hospital with me hopefully we're gonna try and plan for like a 24-hour stay obviously that might change but I'm just gonna take enough to cover me for 24 hours or so so in here I have got these black ones are disposable underwear and they are basically just like a full a full brief that you would wear if you go for like a spray tan or something like that um they're literally just big disposable underwear which are going to be perfect for just wearing towels with stuff like that and then i've got some breast pads in here and these i wish i discovered these like years ago because i have actually already been using these um for the intended reason but I've also been using a few of these when I've had outfits that I didn't want to wear a bra with and they have like a little sticky thing so you can just stick them on and then um, it's like a nipple cover but like a really good one so yeah I'd get more of these for any of those outfits when you're going out and about and you don't want to wear a bra but you need something these are really good I can't believe I've never thought to use these before but there you go I've got some specific maternity towels and um, these are just Boots own and these are just really big, really thick and they're just like extra sensitive, the materials apparently are just extra sensitive so perfect for after birth and then here I've just got some Boots own maxi night towels as well so I feel like I'm pretty well equipped with all of this stuff but if I need more obviously Grant knows where everything is and he can just bring me some more in but I've got a little bag of all that stuff and I think as a first time mum especially it's hard to know what you will use and what you will not use so I've tried to pack the essentials and things that I think I will use but I'm just I'm not going to beat myself up if I need to buy any extra bits and bobs or if I don't use some of this I'd rather have it than not but hopefully this will all be stuff that I will use and yeah so that's another one that's ready to go then I've got this little bag here which is full of tech type stuff so I've not put it in yet but I'll be putting my camera memory cards and um, battery packs all of that kind of thing in here as well but I've got in here um, our speaker I've done a bit of a labour playlist on my Deezer which I've just kind of like copied a few existing ones that people had already made to be honest and then put a few of my own in but I've already got a few like spa playlists that I listen to when I'm in the bath and that kind of thing which always make me feel really relaxed and calm so we've got our little portable speaker so we can listen to those I've got an extra long charging cable which everybody said that this was an essential for your phone so I just picked this one up um, in Poundland so I just got one of those. I've got my little fairy lights and um, these were just from Primark 50 LED indoor lights just battery powered ones um, again I always like rooms to be like really dark and I find that that is relaxing to me so I've got these so that hopefully um, in the hours kind of before the pushing phase and things we can have the room nice and dark and just some nice fairy lights on. I'm saying that now but if we'll actually have time to do that or not I don't know but that's the plan. <laughs> We've just got a few charging cables and that kind of thing so yeah I've just got my camera to pop in here and um, my other battery packs and then this will be just my little tech bag. Next up is my toiletries bag. 
and if you've watched any of my pack with me videos before you'll have seen um i always use these clear little bags they're just really useful and you can see everything obviously that's in them so i've got my toiletry bag and i've also got my peri bottle in here this is just one that i got off amazon and it's literally just just what you need it to just a little peri bottle so i've got that one ready and then in my toiletries bag i've packed the um my expert midwife spritz for bits and i saw that everybody was using this um this has been on like every video and every list that i've seen so yeah it's basically for pregnancy birth recovery for down there afterwards um so yeah we'll see what i think to this one um lots of people have recommended this and said that it's really good um so yeah got one of those got a roll-on deodorant i don't know what it is but especially towards the end of pregnancy i just can't stand the spray deodorants like they just seem to sit in my throat and i'm just not a fan of them at the minute so i've just got one of the sure cotton dry roll-on deodorants um loofah for the shower um, and just some cleansing face wipes makeup wipes just thought these would be good if i just want a quick freshen up and um, just easy to grab and they're just nice to just help you feel a bit refreshed quickly and then i've got um toothpaste and little toothbrush and another essential aloe vera lip balm and then I've got a lot of my favourite Temple Spa goodies in here as well. So I've got a bath and shower gel and a shampoo. And then I've also got the um, the In Good Condition Everyday Conditioner. And the R Soothing Balm for Aching Feet and Limbs. I actually find that this really works and I love using this on my feet. So I'm just taking my mini one of that. I've got my bathing and massage oil. This is the Drift Away one. Um, and I love this. Again, this is a scent that I use in the bath and it makes me feel really relaxed. But I thought that whilst Grant was giving me um, a massage, maybe through labour, then he could maybe use some of this oil. And yeah, it's just really relaxing. I love the scent of it. And yeah, I thought I'd pack just a mini one of those as well. And I didn't want to take loads of skincare products so I'm literally just taking um, the Peace Be Still Calming Skin Balm. This is another one that I love and I've used for years. Um, so I'm just going to be taking this one in my travel size. And then again if you've watched any of my travel vlogs you'll know that I love the Quietude um, spritz for your pillow or you could just spritz this in the room so the quietude is chill out and sleep well mist and again this is this is a scent that i associate with being really calm and relaxed so i wanted to just pack that to have in my toiletries and then finally hairbrush and um just lots of bobbles and grips that kind of thing i've just thrown in there as well it doesn't really bother me having my hair down I've read a lot of people say that um, if you have time to like just pop your hair in plaits or just pull it back and just have it out of your way just so that it's um, not bothering you and you can try and keep a bit cooler not having your hair in the in the way and if you are getting a gift for someone and um, like for a baby shower gift or something I think a really nice toiletry set would be a really lovely gift because the travel sizes of all of my Temple Spa favourites, I use these and repurchase them so often because they're just perfect to keep in one of these little bags. I don't actually take them out and then every time I go away anywhere or anything like that, they're all just ready in there, ready to go. And then we're on to the really cute little bits. So this little bag is for baby boy this is all of his clothes and things that we will be taking so in here this was so cute i loved packing this and just like folding up all these teeny tiny like newborn things 
So in this one, we've got this blanket, first of all, which my mum actually knitted and is just really special because my mum made it. She even put these little um, handmade with love buttons on there, which is really cute. So we're taking this blanket for him. And then in here, I've just basically got a selection of these are just like newborn um, baby grow vests type things. So I've got three of those. I've got a little hat and then we've got tiny little newborn socks and scratch mittens. Um, and then here I've got three like kind of more substantial sleep suits. Um, and probably one of these will be his like coming home outfit. So I've got three different ones of those and I think all three actually have the little things on the ends where you can turn them inside out and they turn into scratch mitts which is nice and handy anyway but yeah look at how cute that is with the little collar on there. Um, and then we've just got some muslin cloths in here too. So this is everything that I'm going to be taking for baby boy essentially. There is like six little outfits in there but obviously if we need more I'm sure Grant will be able to grab some more from home and bring them but we've got everything in there for him. And then the rest of his bits are in the changing bag. So in here I've got another clear little bag and this one we've just got some um, naught month newborn um, mam soothers and just some cotton wool pads. I've got this really cute little hooded towel. This one is just from Primark with the little elephants on it. It's just really nice and soft. So we've got that. We've got a changing mat, which I'm obsessed with everything that came in our Mamas and Papas pram travel set because it all matches. I just love it. So this obviously matches the bag and it's just a little um, travel changing mat. So we've got that in there. We've got some baby wipes, we've got some, a packet of nappies, don't know how many I'll need but I just thought I'll just take one bag and see how we go. And then finally in here, um, just some nappy sacks and that is everything that's in the changing bag. I think I might pop some other little toiletries in for him as well, just in case we need them. I don't know, like um, some pseudocrem or something like that. But again, it's one of those things where as a first time mum, it's hard to know what you will need, especially because you just can't predict if you're going to be there for 24 hours or a longer stay. It's difficult to know, but I think I've covered all of the basics and all of the essentials hopefully. So that is everything that I'm packing in my hospital bag and baby's hospital bag. And like I say, I think I've got pretty much everything, but if anything is jumping out that I have missed that is really obvious, then please let me know down in the comments below. Or if there is something that you took that you loved and was a lifesaver, also please let me know. I've just thought actually that the only thing I think I have got left to get I wanted to just get like a handheld fan because I get really hot anyway and then especially being pregnant I've been just really hot 24 7 so I wanted to get a little handheld fan I did have one ready and I don't know where it's gone in like the chaos of the nursery I feel like it's just disappeared somewhere so thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video I've really loved getting all of his little bits ready and all of my things ready finally to go and I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now actually now that I've got this done and we are ready um, just nice to feel prepared so anyway I'm going to finish up here but let me know like I say down in the comments if you think I've forgotten anything or any must-haves that you had and yeah I will see you in my next video bye